Hello, welcome to Hatton Games. Yesterday Valve brought out another update for CSGO. Most of us will have seen it coming with the teaser they put on the blog. This was of course hinting at their rework of the competitive map Mirage, but there are actually a handful of other really useful changes in general. Since it's what everyone is talking about, I guess I'll start with the new Mirage. I think we can all agree the new design looks amazing. There's certainly a lot more eye candy, but if you're a competitive gamer, you'll probably be more concerned about whether the map still plays the same and whether there have been any major changes for either side. A lot of the old smokes still work. I was able to find set smokes for both mid window and short within five minutes of messing with the map. I'll go in more detail with individual smokes and flashes in other videos, but there are literally tons you can do to open up the map. So the A-bomb site has changed a lot, it's now a lot more open and there's less cover for the CZs to defend. It was always the harder site to defend in the previous version and you'd often see teams just hold from CT ramp and play for the retake. The problem now is that the boxes and the wall have been replaced with a very thin ticket booth made of wood. Of course wood is totally spammable leaving little to no cover for CTs and forcing them to play ridiculously passive. Where Electric used to be, there are now stairs making it very hard for CTs to get a decent angle on apartments without exposing themselves to the rest of the site. The width of Connector has been made shorter due to its arch-like design. This means you have less space to land a shot onto short as CT, but it's definitely still viable. The flooring in apartments is no longer wooden and now actually makes the same sound as the stone on lower. This makes it less distinguishable if you make noise when running into apartments, whereas before you could call it early that there was one in apps if the terrorists started walking too late. The nuclear crates on A are actually metal so you can't spam through the middle but only the edges. There are multiple gaps that you can see the enemy from but you can't shoot directly through the gap. It treats it like a spam so if your bullet does hit it will do less damage than normal. Again these gaps in the crates give CTs even less cover as they can easily be spotted. So moving on to the B site now and unfortunately it's still not looking too good for the CTs. B is now a lot easier to flash and there are less places for the cancer terrorists to dodge the flashes. Both of the ceilings have been replaced with a green and red canopy. These don't actually protect you from flashes at all. If you're underneath one and a flash pops in your eyesight then you get fully blind. Terrorists have a faster route to B with the removal of the jump boxes. So if they do a full rush onto B with a constant stream of flashes over the roof, they can pretty much reach site uncontested. Unfortunately, you can no longer flash over to short from upper B due to the skybox. I know a lot of teams like to use this flash so it's a real shame to see it's broken. For any CTs playing from short, it's now really hard to turn around and spot the first window of upper. There's a piece of the wall that obstructs your view which you used to be able to see. One small bonus for the CT side is that the ground has actually been raised a lot higher at the truck, allowing CTs to get a good peek onto anyone approaching from upper B. Before you had to jump on a crate and expose a lot of your body, which obviously isn't ideal. I was playing around and noticed you could do a nice one way smoke for upper B that blinds any terrorists coming in, but allows you to still see them from truck. I'm not sure how effective it actually is, but I thought it was quite interesting. At middle there have been a few minor changes, but most features remain the same. The grates at the mid window have now been removed giving you a clearer shot on the terrace side when challenging mid. If you can get to the boxes with an AWP you can actually peek mid window for a small gap. It's quite a sneaky way of getting mid control if the CT decides to face. You can still boost your teammate into the window at middle and of course the solo boost from short is still available. Just bear in mind the solo boost from short is extremely risky as you leave yourself open to both connector, short and mid window itself. Whilst we're talking about boosts and whatnot, it's probably worth mentioning that the jump from mid window to ladder room is also still doable. You'll probably have noticed that the vents have now changed and are actually made up of multiple slates of metal. This means you can only see through very small cracks unless you're up close, making it potluck if you make a kill for a vent. So overall the changes to Mirage seem to have favoured the terrorist side a lot more. The map looks fantastic and I'm really blown away at how good the visuals are, but at the same time I'm worried that the balance has been altered too much. We still don't know whether this new version will be picked up by leagues and it'll be interesting to see the overall response from the community. Moving on to another change with the recent update and I think this has been overlooked by a lot of people. Links to top streams are now featured on the main menu for everyone to see. In my opinion this is actually a huge benefit for the competitive community. It gives broadcasters a chance to reach out to the casual gamers and suck them into the competitive scene. League of Legends has been doing this to increase viewership on streams and it's great to see CSGO doing the same. Currently you can only see the stream links on the home page, 
but I think making it viewable whilst players queue for matches will increase its effectiveness. You can see there is more than enough room to fit it in, with a bit of a workaround you could even expand the stream links to give them more presence on the page. A really cool feature has been added to grenades allowing you to see their trajectory. For someone like me who practices new nade spots all the time, this is ridiculously useful. To enable it you need to be in a server with cheats on and type in the following command to console. SV underscore grenade underscore trajectory 1. It basically tracks the path of where you threw the grenade and shows any hit impacts with red markers. This is particularly helpful to see whether your flashes are accidentally hitting any walls, giving your opponent a chance to dodge the flash using sound. I've got a little trick for those of you who want to practice smokes but don't want to have to wait 15 seconds per throw. If you use a decoy grenade instead of a smoke it will take the same trajectory and you can instantly tell whether it would land correctly. For flashes you can use a grenade instead as it also has the same timings and trajectory. This way you don't get blind and you can follow the nade instantly to see where it pops. I know a lot of people will be extremely happy to hear that Valve has restored the retry console command. To be honest I don't understand why they took it out in the first place because up till now it's been a real hassle having to rejoin a server quickly. For those of you who maybe don't know what the retry command does, it basically rejoins the server you're on without having to go to the main menu and find it in the list. So overall this is another great update with some really cool features added to the game. For me personally, the addition of streams on the main page is by far the best idea and I really think that it will motivate individual players to set up their own streams and create even more content for the community. My thoughts on Mirage are still a bit shaky, I love the visuals, but like I said earlier, I'm afraid that the balance of the map has been altered too much. Time will tell I guess, we'll never really know until organised teams actually start playing it, but from what I can see the changes are favouring the terrorist side a lot. The trajectory command was a cool addition and I love how Valve is adding features like this unexpectedly. Let me know what your thoughts are though. I know Mirage has been a hot topic this week and there are always going to be mixed opinions. Just post in the comment section below and hopefully we can get a decent discussion going on. Before you go I've got two more videos for you to check out. On the top is a video on practicing nades. I think with the new trajectory command a bunch of people will be looking to spawn grenades and test them out properly. I basically show all the commands you need to get going. Over on the bottom is my most recent nade spot for Dust 2. It's actually a flash which I know people have been wanting more of. Other than that though, I just want to say thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.